Aston Villa nil, Tottenham Hotspur four. Uh, I'll keep this short and sweet, but I'll start off with the positives. Uh, we had a really good first half. Um, it's a bit weird to be fair, conceding the goal so early, but then obviously turning up. Um, and we should have probably been two one up coming into the uh, half time. It's just I think the the problem was our strikers just weren't. You know they weren't taking the chances, and they, they were really good chances by the way. Um, but you had Matty Cash, you had a good chance, McGinn, and then obviously Danny Ings and Watkins had a couple, and it was seven shots on target to two, uh, coming to half time. So we should have we should have at least been drawing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just obviously with the goal from Son, it's just bad defending if you ask me. But coming into the second half, I thought we'd probably come out more brighter. It's just I I think we we just let our heads down. I guess you could say, uh, and then Kulaseski, I think he's how you pronounce his name, uh, puts uh, puts the goal away, and it was a really good goal. I mean, our defense has been shambolic, but it you know it's just fair play. He's he's took his chance and uh, he scored from it, um, and yeah, from two 0 down, you you're probably still thinking we could probably get some out of it still after the first half. It just weren't the case, was it? Human Son scores a bloody hat trick and um. Yeah, you know, I was coming into this really wary, but four 0 though. It's just it's sad because we ain't scored, and uh, I, I was sort of thinking coming into this we weren't gonna get anything, but to just not score at all when you had that many chances, uh, it's it's just so villa of us. But you know, it's just a lot of things have annoyed me coming into this. Uh, obviously, you know the players saying how ready they are for this one. Uh, how lot much we've improved since the last one. Gerard talking as well. Just you know, just, we need we can't just keep going in on that a forty five minute performance. We need the full ninety. Um, and you know, if we're talking about going for Europe soon, we we cannot be playing like that. You cannot be having a, a good first half. You should be winning. Uh, to go into the second half and concede even three like that. And, um, you know, some people could say some goals were good, but if if you ask me, they could have been easily avoided. Um, but, you know, let's not just say how crap we were today. Fair play to Tottenham, and I just wanted to say this, they are getting top four. Um, you know, they saw Brighton obviously beating Arsenal today and they've pounced on it. Um, and I think they're around three points in front or something. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, fair play to them. They are going to get top four, and they do deserve it. Antonio Conte has definitely uh, sorted them out a bit, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not too sure who we've got next. I think it might be Leicester, but <sighs> improvements are needed. And if you ask me, Chambers needs to be starting. Chambers needs to be starting. Um, it is about time. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if there is any like Tottenham fans, obviously Villa fans watching, please comment down below what you thought about the game. And, yeah, I'll see you later. Up